you never know what you're going to find. Kind of like treasure hunting. You're going to be the first one that splits that rock and sees what's been trapped in there for, in our case, almost a half a billion years. My name is Chris New, and I've been collecting trilobites for over 30 years. When I was probably five or six, my dad started taking the family out to the local trilobite beds. As a kid, I got introduced to it fairly young. And I did, we did it for a few years as a family and whatnot. And then I kind of forgot about it for a few decades, in fact, until I had kids and they were getting up to that age where I was looking for interesting things to do. So we started taking our kids out to the same fossil beds. And that just kind of reignited the whole thing that's now become a bit of a, uh, almost an obsession. When I'm looking for fossils, typically where I start is the research on what the, uh, the geology of the area is through past publications that might have been uh, mining publications, these type of things that tell me about the type of rock, the age of rock, the formation. Then it's a matter of the digging and the exploring and the prospecting comes into play and hoping to find what looks like promising, um, complete fossils. Oh, there we go. It takes quite an eye to see a fossil in the rock that isn't obvious, but you get an eye for these like ghostly images and whatnot that most people probably just overlook as nothing. So in the lab, I have a variety of tools, air scribes that I'll use to take off bulk matrix, but the tool that I use a lot in the material around this area is, is basically a micro sandblaster. I probably would have quit the hobby many years ago had I not invested into the prep lab. It's really rewarding when you can expose that trilobite for the first time by yourself. For the last 20 years, my collecting partner and I have said, well, this might be the year that we finally don't discover something new. But every year we continue to find something new. and It just keeps going and going and, and we haven't scratched the surface of what's out there. For anyone that wants to try fossil collecting, Firstly, make sure you know what your provincial rules are. As some provinces don't actually allow you to dig, um, they may allow you to surface collect only. So make sure you know those rules. And secondly, just get out there and start exploring. See what you can find. It's all out there.